Francisco. Tonight, a battle of two first-place squads between the Milwaukee Brewers and the San Francisco Giants. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Kevin Gossman, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Gosman's a guy that can sink the ball pretty well. His mid-90s fastball, his best outfits is that split finger. He's kind of been a guy that's bounced around between the starting rotation and back to the bullpen. It's never been a question about his arm. Former first-round draft pick by the Baltimore Orioles. If this guy's throwing strikes, he can be awfully tough to hit. Now to bat, Avisail Garcia. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. First pitch of the A.B. now. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. We could be in for a cold one tonight. 52 degrees at game time, but should see the 40s before we're through. Here's the one and two delivery. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Omar Narvaez, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Comes into his first at bat at 283. 11 home runs and 42 runs batted in. Now here's the pitch. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, d -Road. one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. Now the 2-1. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Into the bleachers and gone. So a solo shot here to left center field 12 home runs for him now thus far as the Brewers get on the board first it's one to nothing. Love the homer in the top of the first inning give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. And that brings up the left handed hitting Travis Shaw. A ball and no strikes. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And he'll reach second now with one away. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. So now to the plate, Tyrone Taylor. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Nine homers and 36 RBIs. Oh. 
fouled off. One and one, here it comes. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Popped him up. Belt moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. With that, here's a look at the Brewers starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Matt, they're looking mm -hmm. to get a lot more out of Travis Shaw. Look, he's coming off a month where he hit under 200. That's under the Mendoza line, which is like almost unheard of. I guess some guys do it, but man, this guy's really struggling. He's lucky he's still in the lineup. And that'll bring forth Luis Urias. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the 1 0. Grounded back up the middle. Crawford's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. But the Brewers are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the first at Oracle Park. It's now 1 0 Milwaukee. Corbin Burns will be the man on the mound for the Brewers. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. At the plate now is Buster Posey. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. From the stretch, here's the pitch. He swings and grounds it to short. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Batting second. And Number here's a look at the hometown Giants Red starting head. lineup in this one. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matt, you take a look at both these lineups. They got their work cut out for them. This is going to be a pitcher's duel. Both these guys can execute and have a chance to go deep in this game and turn it over the bullpen. Somebody is going to have to get that big two out knock with runners in scoring position. Here's the first baseman Brandon hey. Belt as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He'll start play with that average down in the low two thirties. Eighteen homers and thirty eight runs batted in. Oh and one here it comes. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Taylor comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. That is true. Not shortstop. Brandon Crawford. Next up is Brandon Crawford on the season. He's hitting just over 290 coming into action here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. As he'll take a look at ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Yeah. 
and it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four. The third baseman. Evan. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. First pitch of the A.B. now. Cut fastball taken for strike one. And it's one and one. Two balls and a strike to Longoria. And treading carefully with Longoria here. It's three and one now. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. The 3 1. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And the payoff pitch. Full count still. The next 3 2. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this guy in the five hole is just as dangerous. Up next, Steven Duggar trying here to plate the tying run from second. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. That's in there. Base hit. Crawford isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square and one apiece. You know, D-Row, there are certain hitters that just love to come up and clutch two out RBI situations. And this guy certainly is one of those guys. Yeah, they're able to slow the moment down. It's not for everybody. This guy has ice water in his veins consistently coming through in big spots. Nice job right there to tie this one up. At the plate now, Wilmer Flores. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 16 homers, and he's driven in 45. Now the 1 0. And here's a ball hit in the air. On the move is Garcia. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. Second inning coming up, all even at one apiece. Daniel Vogel backs next, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's set. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result.
That'll bring up Billy McKinney. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Love the fact that he's not scared to go right back inside with another fastball. I know he hit the last guy, but if he's going to have success, he's got to establish that pitch in. 1 0 pitch on the way. Vogel back on at first, nobody out. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Into the cove and gone. A two run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year, and it gives the Brewers a three to one lead. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. And here's Christian Yelich now. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He'll let her play here with an average just over 250. Eight home runs and 41 RBIs. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. No outs nobody on. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Hosey's got it. And he makes the throw to first. Yelich is retired and there's one away. Next for Milwaukee Corbin Burns. First pitch on its way. Inside, ball one. The 1 0. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there pretty much unable to hit any of his spots and now he's at three and one and he's put him into another great hitting count. Hitters count all the way here it comes pitch popped up belt is there for it and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting right fielder. Avisayo Garcia. So here's Avisayo Garcia looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's set and the pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Swung on and missed. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. The 0 2 delivery. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. But the Brewers do get two on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 3-1 to one, Milwaukee. Bottom of the inning now. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Mike Yastrzemski. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. 
Here's the first pitch to him. The 1 0. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. It's three balls and a strike to the Giants' left fielder. A 3-1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And the pitch. Ah, he's behind on the swing there, and the count moves to three and two. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat and that he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Stepping up to the plate, Mauricio Dubon. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Five homers and 21 driven in. The 0 1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. And there are two away now. Hey, that's a great job right there. Knowing he had time to collect himself, I love the internal clock right there. Didn't rush it, took the extra step, gathered himself, and threw a bolt to first base. Into the box now, Kevin Gossman. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Late swing there on the changeup. Couldn't make up his mind, I guess. It's strike two. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Nothing in two count and the pitch and the cutter got him swinging strike three and the side is retired Giants down in order they still trail it here three to one. Striding in is Omar Narvaez. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A-B, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Narvaez tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better, but that's the book on him at this point. A ball and a strike. The 1-1. One -one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Into the corner and slicing foul. He'll try again. One, two. Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. 
the classic back foot slider right there with two strikes usually gets a ton of swing and misses nice layoff right there fight for another pitch here now the 2 2 hit in the air down the right field line and this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out now that third base Travis Shaw so digging in next will be Travis Shaw one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up now the pitch and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0 and 1. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And a slider One gets ball. away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Third inning here. 3 to 1 our score. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Just inside not by much it's two and two we just saw a fastball right there I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt high pop up Flores has a play he hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away that's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. At the plate Tyrone Taylor as he takes a called strike on the black it's 0 and 1 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Comes set and the 0 1 big swing and a miss at the fastball and he's behind in the count 0 and 2 super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one two three get back in the dugout regroup he struggled early but if he can knock out this one two three inning I think he can right the ship down and away it's a ball and two strikes it's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there it's the toughest pitch it was my toughest pitch to lay off of I was always sitting fastball middle away and when that slider came out boy did it look like a heater for a long time. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Hey expect a challenge right here does not want to run the count full. The 2 2 swung on and lifted in the air to left center center fielder giving chase but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Uh, hey D roll that's just oh, what you want to do keep the pressure on he's given up a couple of runs early already in this game and now he gives up the two out single yeah no chance right there you want to make this guy work you want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible and if two out knocks are the answer then so be it in now Luis Urias swinging a ball hit on the ground he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Nothing in one count here it comes strike taken up in the zone Taylor leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning waved at and missed for the third out not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over Milwaukee leaves one and it's still three to one. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, the Buster catcher. Posey. The catcher, Buster Posey. First pitch of the AB now, as he'll take a look at ball one. A 
ball and a strike to the Giants leadoff man. Ball and two strikes now. The one and two pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Thank you. On deck, the left handed hitting Brandon Belt. Payoff pitch home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Garcia. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Up next to the Giants. The first baseman. Brandon. So in now for San Francisco. Brandon Belt flew out last time up. Almost Maddie. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. Fouled away. O2 home. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start no working outside the zone. Easier Shortstop. said than done, Brandon. but that's the way you do it. Crawford. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford, as he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. One oh count here it is. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Giants are down one two three. Score holds it's three to one. Start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Well Matt during the break I caught up with Craig Council the Brewers skipper about his lineups performance so far and overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff Heidi thanks. All set for the start the of the fourth. Baseman. And here comes Daniel. the first baseman, Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. And he chased it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Vogelback is retired, and there's one away. All right, so time for the Giants' road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects who are playing very well in the upper minors. Into the box, Billy McKinney. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. 
this is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind. Oh and while we talked that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. In is Christian Yelich. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. What a well executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Runners on first with one down. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll make for the 339 sign down there. McKinney is on his way home. And a relay to the plate. The tag from Posey is right there, and he is gone at home plate. With two outs, I totally understand sending him there, but with only one out, you've got to be pretty positive about getting him home safely. Could have been a whole lot better than what they're working with now. Standing in now, Corbin Burns, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And it's fouled away. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. One and two to the Brewers pitcher, and now the Giants are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Swing and a ground ball to third. Up with it is Longoria, and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that Leading brings up Evan the Longoria. The third baseman. Evan Longoria. Now the first pitch. And yeah. she'll take a change up here for strike one. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Fielded cleanly. A quick out number one. The right fielder, number six, Steven Duggar. Next to dig in, Steven Duggar singled in his last at bat. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Now a first pitch change up here too far inside it's one and oh man this guy has retired a whole slew right now I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Now the one oh yanked hard but foul to the right. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. The 2 1. 
is in there for the second strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. The 2 2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check now out our pitch it. speed comparison the for the two starters. Wilmer. And boy, you can see it there. Flores. A couple of power arms out there as both of these guys are working in the high 90s. Next to hit is Wilmer Flores. He flew out in his last A.B. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. 1 0 pitch on the way. 3 to 1 is our score here in inning number four. Hard hit towards center. Taylor able to track it down for the third out. Giants down in order, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Caleb Berger, a southpaw standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. So here is Avisayo Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The pitch. Aye. One ball, one strike. Nope, that's inside. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses a zone by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Now into the box, Omar Narvaez. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch of the A.B. now. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Fastball called for strike two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here comes another 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely oh, down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. So 
So now to the plate, Travis Shaw. In the dirt. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when a reliever comes in a game, he always wants to make a big impression. But I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there. So we'll see if he can settle in. Fouled off. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Garcia leads off second with one gun in the inning. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And he got him. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot and by the time it got there it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. To the plate now, Tyrone Taylor, as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. That is fouled away, one ball and one strike. set here comes the 1 1 and this ball runs away for ball two two and one three runs five hits and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far here's a bouncing ball headed for Crawford it's short he's right there Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Brewer strand one as the lead remains three to one. And welcome back to San Francisco as we send it down to Heidi. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with their manager, Gabe Kapler, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. Stepping up is Mike Yastrzemski, struck out in his first at bat. No left fielder. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A one pitch on its way. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. At the plate, Mauricio Dubon. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. McKinney's there for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, 
the pitcher, Caleb. Tommy LaStella will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. From the stretch. Left side, but well foul. He'll come in here at 259, three homers and 15 RBIs. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Nope. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. The one two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Three and two now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Struck him out is seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. They still trail it here three to one. Harleen Garcia takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. So here is Luis Urias. He'll try and get things started as we begin Luis inning number six. Urias. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Grounded to the right. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Up next to the walker, the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. In now, Daniel Vogelback. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down to Crawford for one on to first but not in time as he beats it out. Billy McKinney will dig in again and as he does we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two run homer that was a big blow early on. First offering as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch and a slider bounces and that gets away and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. 
Vogel back. Base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box, Christian Yelich, as he'll cut on and miss it. A good slider at the knees for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Milwaukee leaves one, and it's still 3 to 1. Here's Buster Posey now. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they face. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Now here it comes. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound you could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Lays off the sinker here a ball and a strike. Hey this is a real pesky hitter right here as a pitcher you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Swung on and missed that strike two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Two two pitches fouled away. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Next, it'll be Brandon, Brandon Belt. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 1 pitch. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. So he's just a third of an inning away from no putting up another zero five. as we take a look Short at the ball stop. clubs with the lowest Brandon. team ERAs. Rubber. And we find that this pitching staff currently leads the NL in that department. Next here is Brandon Crawford. Two outs already on the K this inning so he'll be looking to do better. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one's nowhere close as it bounces to the plate for ball one. In for a strike, it's one and one.
bouncer to the left side. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Crawford rounds the bag at first looking for second. Not in time and he's in there with a double. Well the pitcher can't really worry now about that one. I mean it was only their second hit of the game so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave him out there now. Stepping in now Evan Longoria weak grounder down the line at third but a foul ball here 0 and 1 he bounced out last time up. Tying run at the plate the 0 1 sent on the ground out to second throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Giants leave one score holds it's three to one. Digging in will be Corbin Burns. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. It's great to be able to face a pitcher to lead off the inning and get yourself a quick out. But now you find yourself down 2 0, and he's licking his chops for a fastball. Now here's the pitch. Got a very undisciplined swing there. It's 2 and 1. Oh, man, was that a hack! He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The three and one pitch he is swung on and missed a full count now. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball. Those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Now the payoff pitch home, and he misses with it. Ball four, and a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. Now batting the right fielder. So now here is Avisail Garcia, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just to give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Now the 2 0. That one's in there, three and one. Burns aboard here at first with nobody out. In the air, down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. And he makes the catch in the corner. Now batting, catcher, Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on.
Has a look now the pitch. Hey that's a nice take by the batter right there but that's a non competitive off speed pitch got to do better to at least entice a swing. The 1 0 home a swing and a miss that's the first strike. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. And the 2 1. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Runner at first here, one man out. Uh, got him on a good slider there, swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. At the plate now, Travis Shaw. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's working on a one for three thus far. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Brewers strand one as the lead remains three to one. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. He's one for two in the ball game. Up for the Giants, the right fielder, Steven Duggar. First pitch of the AB on its way. Hey, this guy's been throwing in gems so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. Here comes the 0-1. That's a ball. One and one. Pulled toward right center field. This is gathered in out there by Garcia for the first out. Up next to the Giants, the second baseman, Wilmer. Next to bat for the Giants, Wilmer Flores. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hit on the ground out to short, reined in. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop, and the jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball one and oh he's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready here's the one oh. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing three to one our score. Swing and a miss on the cut that's fastball one and two. Now that's just a nasty cutter right there. I don't care if that's his cold zone. He doesn't handle that pitch in that well. Most that's hitters don't get to that. The count now at two and two. And 
And now pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Mauricio Dubon would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. Another full count pitch home. Hey this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A.B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A.B.s like this earlier in the game. I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Giants down in order. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jose Alvarez will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Austin Slater will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder Tyrone Taylor. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0 0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0 1 than 1 0. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Alvarez has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Ah, and he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Ball three. Three and two now. Luis Urias is on deck. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Into the box, Luis Urias. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ball. ball one. Here it comes, one and oh. Fouled away. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed and that's strike two. Wow great pitch right there right changing speeds. How about that straight change up. How about that swing. Howdy if you're waving at me. The one two. 
And it's fouled away. The next one two pitch seared down the first baseline but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Lays off two and two now. Now the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in time at first for out number two. The back. The first baseman. Daniel Vogelback. Ready now is Daniel Vogelback. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. One and one the count to the Brewers first baseman. Hey this guy has come in and just done his job. Period the end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast and this game's tied. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Here comes the one two. It is looked at for ball number two. Two out, nobody on. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Here it comes. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. Gone in order of the Brewers and it's still three to one. Devin Williams is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and digging in is the outfielder Mauricio Dubon. Wheels and deals here's the first pitch. Owen won the count. Now the pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. A swing and a miss there. Two and two. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two. Hey leading off an inning in this situation three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And that'll get down for a base hit. You know Dero there's been some great pitching in this one so far after that knock that's only the third hit of the game and we're getting late into this one. Yeah they always say you got to tip your hat to the opposition sometimes well I think this offense is tired of tipping its hat. They got to start to swing the bats a little bit better that's their third knock of the game I know it's late but maybe they can get something going.
Donovan Solano stands in as he looks at ball one here. The numbers 282 to start play, six home runs, and 30 RBIs. And this one's too far inside ball two. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Dubon gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he popped him up. Urias onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The catcher, number 28, Buster Posey. And that'll bring up Buster Posey. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First offering on its way. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Popped him up. Urias waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon. No. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And standing in now, the left handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. He's set. Here it comes. Two out with the man at first. Belt in front, two balls and no strikes. Those were great takes right there. Those were pitches that a lot of guys normally swing at, but he took both of them and finds himself in a productive count leverage. 2-0. From the belt, the pitch. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. Oh Too high God. that time, and it's three and one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. A runner on first with two away. And the count will be full. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now the three and two pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. One left for San Francisco. They still trail it here three to one. Jake McGee comes on to work now and he's their usual closer but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah and this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Set to start the ninth in this one, and in to hit next the speedy Billy McKinney. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. You know, something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. 
definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. That's 2 and 0. Oh. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 and 0 oh doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And the pitch fouled off. The 2 1 is looked at for ball three. And a left handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. The 3 1. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. Posey over to his right, one down. Now batting, shortstop, Christian Yelich. Next, it'll be Christian Yelich. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here it comes. Slider laid off for a ball. A ball and a strike. The 1-1 one -one is up in the zone but below the letters apparently for a strike. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. One out, nobody on. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2 2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. And he lost him here on 3 2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now batting. The pitcher, Jace Peterson, will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. From the belt, the pitch as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Runners on first with one down. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in there. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a throw over. Don't want to forget about him. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses, ball two. Throw over to first, and the runner will get back standing. The 2 1 is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know, everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous.
Fastball laid off well below the knees. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Runners on first with one down. Yelich is running. Strike taken the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. They ran the risk of a strike him out, throw him out play there, but that was a good job of getting in there successfully. On three and two, there's a decent chance the hitter puts the ball in place, so it can be a good time to be aggressive just like that. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with a bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Stepping in next, Omar Narvaez struck out in his last trip to the plate. Now here's the first offering. Little dribbler up the third baseline. Here's the 0 1. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Yelich on second. Garcia on at first with two down. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. You know what, Maddie? I think it's so tough for a lefty to stay tucked on that slider, to keep his front shoulder in and be able to recognize it and not get beat with the fastball. Again, a one two. And he fouls this one off. Can we be honest here? That was a terrible pitch. That was right over the heart of the plate. Two strikes on the guy. He is lucky he's getting this pitch back. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Standing in now, Travis Shaw. And so ground the first pitch foul off to the right side. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Looking to minimize the damage here. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Brewers forced to settle for one. Josh Hader comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Brandon Crawford digging in next. One for go. two in the ball game thus far. Hey, not stop. impossible, but Brandon. highly improbable. Crawford. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. No balls and a strike to count. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone.
And here's a pitch taken by Crawford for a ball three and one. If you're at the plate in this situation you're only thinking one thing and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull the trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. And could this be the start. It's a long way back but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Evan Longoria. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He set and the pitch fouled away. From the belt, the pitch. One and one. And it's one and two. No offer that time from Longoria. It's back to two and two now. Nobody out, runner on first. And he struck him out. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Stephen Duggar. So look now the pitch. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Here's the 0 1 pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will track it down. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Comes set. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good now job man. there of exploiting the that. That defense. can be real hard for real some hard. guys to overcome when Whoa, teams start man. figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Now to the plate, Wilmer Flores. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Has a look. Now the pitch. One ball, one strike. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last strike here for the Giants. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. Great take right there but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Two out with the man at first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. The closer is supposed to slam the door in his opponent, but he left the door wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. Alex Dickerson will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He'll come into this one with an average way down at 235. 13 home runs and 38 runs batted in. On its way, the 0 1 pitch, and it's fouled away. 
Crawford over at second. Flores at first, two out in the inning. And this will be fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now this is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. A 4 to 1 finish in this evening's game. The Brewers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Corbin Burns earned his ninth win of the year as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Kevin Gossman was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Josh Hader wraps it up for the save his 25th of the year. So that will wrap.